you know, just try to work it, you know, the worksheet out, you know, try it one time. If you don't like it, never do it again. You know, but you might find that you like it. You may change a few little things, you know, that go along with it, you know, but it could potentially work. And I remember, you know, the lady, you know, that showed me about, you know, the SQ3R, you know, uh, when I was in student support services, and, you know, she showed me how to do that, and that's what she told me. She's like, I know it takes a lot more time, and, and you're not always going to have, you know, the time to do that. You know, so she said, just try it one time. And if you like it, great, use it. If not, never have to use it again. And so that's what I always would say. Try it one time. If you don't like it, never do it again. So, And then, of course, this is just basically, you know, you know, we've already done that. So that is what we have covered today. So my question is, what questions do you have? What do you feel that you could potentially use today? Or will you say, you know what, it's all good, but I'm good? I don't know. Tell me. Let's go with the men this time. Say we're kind of going back and forth here. What do you think that you could potentially use? And will you? I don't know. And there's nothing wrong if you don't want to use it, so really keep that in mind as well. So. Um, I think I already kind of used this just without knowing it. Yeah, and that happens quite a bit, you know. You know, and sometimes we may not go in the exact order sometimes, but but most of us have used this to some degree, and so. Um, do you feel like that worksheet you could potentially create your own something similar to that? You know, so that, and that may be something that you do. You, you may not use necessarily this worksheet, but maybe you decide, you know what, I'm going to use kind of a template like this, but I'm going to change a few things around where it's a little bit better for me. You know, you could do that. What about, uh, you know, Kayla, what do we think? Um, I think I could potentially use the SQ3R, just modify it a little bit. Okay. Could you potentially use this in an HR class? I mean, the structure of that. I mean, I would imagine that, you know, in the, the books that you have to read, I mean, like my master's degree is in public administration. Very dull. I, you know, I thought it was going to be a good degree. I was bored out of my mind, but I did it. But the readings were pretty straightforward. I mean, they were, I mean, it was just clear cut. You know, and so I'd imagine in HR, you know, you're probably taking some business classes, and they're probably pretty clear cut. You know, and so uh, if you feel like you could potentially incorporate some of that into it. I think I can really use the more listening versus the reading. Like, okay. reading is very clear cut. Some of the some of the passages, I could definitely use the SQ3R, but just really um, me trying not to find most of the topics boring because there's a lot of like gen ed or prerequisites before I can take my actual classes. Yeah. I have to power through, and I definitely I get I get a question stuck in my head, and the professor keeps going and going and going, so then I'm just I'm not paying attention to what he's saying, so I'm stuck in the question and whatnot. So yeah. we're gonna my patience and finding a good spot. Well, I can tell you when I was in college, you know, especially masters, you know, we talk about you know the boring topic, trying to pay attention. My uh, pay, my thesis, which was 50 pages long, was on the smoking ventilation systems and whether or not they were effective. That's some pretty boring stuff. And so, but I chose it because my advisor, that was his area, and I really wanted him to be my advisor over that. So that's why I chose it. But it was hard, you know, to really focus in try to write something over something that I really wasn't that much interested in, but I was doing it because I knew I knew the, the, the person that would be grading that, you know, for my thesis, which was very important because it was the only way I was going to graduate, and I knew what he expected, and so, I mean, I was going for the sure, you know, pass, and so that's why I probably chose it, but it was a little boring, and it was hard to focus in on sometimes, and so, I mean, uh, so yeah, you know, it's tough, depending on your major, and you will turn to that, because I think, you know, Amanda, you've already said, some of the psychology classes that you're taking are far more interesting than others, so you're able to really listen and focus in on what they're saying, and I would imagine that, you know, when you're taking notes, you maybe not mind as much for those classes, maybe compared to something else, probably. You know, I certainly did not like, uh, you know, taking, you know, notes, uh, well, I mean, math or science, anything related to that, I mean, I was just, it was just horrible, I was just trying to get through it, so it was very difficult to concentrate. So hopefully you'll be able to use some of this, maybe not all of it, but some of it. I'll have you fill out an evaluation before you leave, and that's it, unless you have other questions. All right. Well, Stacy, what's the plan today? What do you mean? What's the plan? Where are we going now? to East Middle School to observe math for my methods class. Uh, yeah. Well, my wife is a teacher. I remember all those method classes that she had to take. Mm -hmm. 
The good thing is, is once you start to get to do the student teaching. Yeah. That's, that's fun. That's next spring for me. I, you'll love it. The crazy thing is, if you ever, I mean, I don't know if anyone else is wanting to even think about being a teacher, but you have to pay for that student teaching. It's actually credit hours. Yeah. And you have to pay That's money. Crazy. Have a good one. Hey, you have a great day. So if you have more than 60 hours, you can't have, um, there's, there's no grant aid. Correct. Right. Yeah. So once once you're past yeah 60, uh, really, I mean, uh, are you thinking about going the summer potentially? Yes, I I have to because to get my that I don't want to be in school. I don't want to be in school for five years. I want to yeah. get it done. So I I since I came back to school, I've had summer classes every summer. In my first summer, I applied for grant aid through you guys, yeah. and I got it, and it was fantastic. Last summer it was out of pocket, and this summer it's going to be expensive because I'm taking geology, which is a four or five hour credit, yeah, and children's lit, which is a three hour credit, yeah. So I was just wondering if I had any options for. I mean, realistically, I mean, one you can always look at, you know, like uh, I think applying for foundation scholarship is always a good thing, you know, yeah, getting I, that in. I always do. Always looking, you know, talking to your depart you know, department chair or, or your advisor in there, asking if there's any summer opportunities, like scholarship-wise, for okay. that. Because sometimes they do. They just don't always promote it, you know, quite a bit because it's more in department. And then, I mean, after that, it'd primarily be student loans. And uh, now, if you if you have to go that route, it's uh, you know you have to be at least enrolled in six hours, and you have to fill out uh, a form for summer for that. Uh, which is, if you go to the financial aid's website, they'll show there'll be a link, uh, you know, on the main uh, 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 page that says uh, financial aid updates. You click on that, and then you do that. Even if you decide to do that and you and you choose not to get student loans, you know, you can always decline that stuff. Mm -hmm. So it may be good just to, to fill it out, just, I mean, you know, so that way you just never know, you know, okay. uh, because I mean, at the end of the day, you don't have to accept anything on there right but what happens you know if you don't fill that out and then it gets close to time and and, and, and then something fell through where you could pay it yeah. it'd be difficult then so by just you know filling that form out at least it's there and I mean I don't know if you've used all your Pell for fall or spring or not yeah and so it's always just automatically divided yeah. into the two semesters so and so uh, yeah and most people you know tend to get the student loans there I mean sometimes what I would try to do when I could like if I got like a uh, yeah, it was different when I was going to college and when I was in, in student support services. I mean, we got you know, uh, you know, grant aid, I mean, fall, spring, but they just gave us a check. I mean, like personally to us and said, "Here it is." You know, so it was different then, and it was higher then. I got a thousand dollars if you made all A's. You know, you got a thousand dollars at that time. And so what I would do is, is I would take that about five hundred of it and set aside, mm -hmm. and, you know, for, you know, for the summer. You know, just put a little bit here and there. Uh, one thing that you can also, uh, you know, do is, is that let's say, you know, if you're going to have to pay for it out of pocket, or maybe you decide, you know what, maybe I'm going to get a student loan, but I'm only going to get 500 or 600. I'm only, you know, I'm only going to get it for half of whatever the bill is. And then you decide to work on a payment plan on the other half. Well, you can actually start making payments right now for the summer. So, oh, okay. so you can kind of get a head start on making those payments, which is going to reduce, you know, your, your bill, you know, your monthly bill of what you'd have to pay back. Okay. So, so that's always an option. Like they even have it now, where if someone had to pay for the fall, they could start payments right now for the fall. That's wow. how far ahead. Yeah. You know, so, that's so, a nice so there, are, so there are a few options. I mean, I know, uh, you know, it's always good to avoid getting student loans if yes. possible. Right. And that's know, my goal is to avoid it. But. To avoid it. Uh, but I, I think you know, it's, it's not going to hurt to just right. uh, fill out the form because sure. you can decline anything. That's very yeah. good advice. Thank so. you. All right. Have a, hey, you too.